Harari is an interesting one because he's a very good synthesizer of, of things. But he's a, but he, he's done something I think which is very dangerous, which is that he's started to speak beyond his competency, and um, indeed I think right beyond his competency. I, I, I thought Sapiens was one of the most brilliant works of history I'd ever read. It deserves all of the acclaim and all of the sales that that, that, that it's it's got. But uh, his stuff on the future and his increasing tendency to sort of sound off about human beings in a way that is profoundly banal, I think. Very nihilistic too. It's rather nihilistic. He, he said the other day uh, that we live in an era in which he said it's on an American talk show, which is maybe where you shouldn't go to mine knowledge. But uh, he he said on an American talk show that we live for the first time in the first year in human history in which we don't know what to teach the children. And that because things are moving so fast with technology and blah, 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 uh, he said this is a unique moment in human history. I thought, what a foolish thing to say. Uh, it's very straightforward what you teach children. You teach them what you taught them before. The things that give you a grounding. I mean... If you teach uh, a child a, le- um, a grounding in ethics, in um, rhetoric, in literacy, in numeracy, in history, um, history in in the in the greats, you yeah. know, if you t- if you were to teach if you were to teach child uh, the Bible, Plato, and Shakespeare, I think I can say with one hundred percent certainty, all of that will still be useful in twenty years' time. And it'll be useful in 50 years' time and 100 years' time. And, and more is the pity that so many modern education systems don't give you any sight of yes, things because, like Plato. Well, and, because then you don't know what you're grounded in. <laughs> and the problem is then you, you don't know the waters you're swimming in. Douglas Murray contends that the instruction of fundamental texts, such as the Bible, Plato, and Shakespeare, lays down a crucial groundwork for children. His assertion stands as a critique of contemporary educational tendencies which favor innovation over timeless sagacity. Murray's stance embodies a reverence for foundational literature, elucidating the essence and authenticity of humanity amidst the flux of uncertainty. His commentary emerges in response to the apprehension induced by rapid technological and societal transformations. Murray's critique of Yuval Noah Harari reflects a pervasive apprehension regarding the erosion of cultural heritage and historical awareness in an increasingly interconnected and technologically driven era. It poses a challenge to navigate the swiftly evolving social landscape devoid of historical moorings. Moreover, Murray's criticism of Harari's educational perspective mirrors a broader conservative wariness towards swift, societal metamorphosis, and technology-driven advancement. Harari's outlook appears emblematic of a nihilistic paradigm undermining conventional values and educational ethos. The prevailing cultural unease concerning societal values and intergenerational knowledge transmission pervades the educational discourse. Furthermore, educational decisions extend to shaping individual identity formation and fostering societal coherence. It underscores the reaffirmation of the significance of foundational knowledge in reverting to traditional educational principles and in shaping personal moral, cognitive, and cultural growth.